Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Secretary, for appearing today. Mr. Secretary, if I can, last year uh, in the hearing to discuss the President's fiscal 24 budget request, you were asked about the FDA's decision to change the REMs for Mifepristone to no longer require an in-person visit to a medical professional. Now, I wrote down that part of you, 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 in your answer, you said, quote, you don't just get access to it because you want it. You still have to have it prescribed. And you were referring to chemical abortion drugs like Mifepristone. My question is, there, there are websites where users can purchase chemical abortion drugs delivered to their doorsteps, in many cases without a prescription. There's a website called PlanCPills.org. It runs a page, and it's, it's called Where People Get Abortion Pills in Tennessee. I represent the 8th Congressional District of Tennessee. When you go to that page, there are 26 external websites, quote, for people who want abortion pills by mail without consulting a clinician. Now, some of these sites, lifeeasyonpills.org, bestabortionpill.com, abortionease.com, drugs99.com, homeabortionrx.com, and it goes on. So I've got two questions for you, Mr. Secretary. One, is the FDA and HHS keeping track of websites that mail these untested pills to Americans. And my second question is, will you commit the FDA resources to warn the American public of the grave risks posed by the use of chemical abortion drugs acquired through unauthorized websites? Congressman, thank you for the question. I, I won't presume to speak specifically for the FDA in how they are conducting some of the work that they're doing. They're a very, we consider them a very independent agency. But what I will tell you is that anytime uh, drugs are put up for public consumption that do not abide by the standards set by the FDA, we have to make sure every American understands that they're taking major risks. And the FDA has the uh, authorities to do enforcement activity, and I know they are trying to keep pace with a lot of this uh, fraudulent activity that is occurring. And my, I, what I can do is get back to you on it specifically what FDA is doing in this regard. But right. no doubt we have to make sure people understand you are putting yourself in peril if you go after, if you try to purchase some of these uh, medicines that are not uh, uh, officially available. And without a prescription, right? And, and without a prescription. And just so everybody knows, the chain of command, everybody who's maybe watching this hearing, and the FDA is an agency under HHS, correct? Yes, it is. You've got you've got ultimate authority under uh, over FDA. U ultimate authority in most cases, but because they're a regulatory body, we give them a great deal of deference so they can make regulatory decisions without interference from other sources. Fair enough. What these websites are doing, at least the way I described it, it's not lawful, right? The way you've described it does not appear to be lawful. Okay, and I, I realize you've got to accept what I'm, I'm saying. If I'm right, shouldn't that require from you a referral to law enforcement to investigate these things and maybe shut them down so that they don't distribute these, these drugs, which may or may not be tested, and certainly that are being, being dispensed without a prescription from a clinician? Uh, and Congressman, as I said, I know that FDA tries to get on some of these uh, cases as quickly as it can. You could probably imagine how many vaping uh, manufacturers are out there trying to sell products without the right, uh, actually, in most cases, vaping should not be available out there. And it's difficult to keep pace with all that's coming out, especially on the internet. But I could try to get back to you to let you know precisely what FDA might be doing. Well, doesn't it seem ripe, R-I-P-E, or the Secretary of HHS to refer these type of activities to federal law enforcement? I'll make sure that, because again, remember, FDA's enforcement powers will differ from what local law enforcement powers. I got it. I'm a former federal prosecutor. Shouldn't you be referring these websites and the other dispensers to federal law enforcement? 
If you wish to give us that information that you have already tracked, we would more than will be willing to make sure we provide that to the appropriate authorities. I've just given it to you, but we'll, we'll send something else to you, and, and yeah, I do appreciate a response. Thank, Thank you. you, Mr. Secretary. I yield